Hi there, this is Baron again with a let's play of Ultima Underworld 2. Let's see what Mi Render has to say. Nothing. Oh yes, she has something to say. Baron, thou shouldst go see Nelson at once. Why? What's the matter? He has been pacing through the castle like a madman, muttering around. I think he is on the verge of a discovery that might change the entire situation. I shall see him at once then. Please do. Okay. Pay a visit to our old pal Nelson. No, that was the press room. Nelson lives down here. See, those are Lady Tori's bloodstains, actually. Okay. There is Nelson, but he's not alone. There's someone else in his room. Patterson. So let's say hi to Nelson. Hello Baron, Major Mayor Patterson was just visiting me. I have some important research I must share with you at once. Of course, Nelson. What is it? You see, Baron, I was reading in the library. Yes, Baron, but there was something I wish to discuss with thee. Yeah, Patterson interrupts. Nelson again. Uh, please, Major Patterson, this is of the utmost importance. I was reading some of... Bartal Tam's early texts concerning Blackrock. Thou hast heard of Bartal Tam? Nay. She was one of the earliest sorcerers to develop a sense of the other around us. Also a veteran of the Brugirian uprising. This is a fascinating story. Thou shouldst read it sometime. Nelson, this does not seem terribly urgent after all. Perhaps the Abaddon and I have something to discuss. Major Patterson, please. Mayor Patterson, please. Now, Batal Tam also wrote specifically on the creation of Blackrock and its effects on the Ether, but also on how the Ether can be made to have an effect on Blackrock itself. Avatar, must we endure these abstract theories? There is work to be done. Well, shh, this sounds, impor sounds important. Yeah, Nelson probably is more important than Patterson, so if Nelson tells you he has something important, um, you should listen to Nelson. Thank you, Baron. Now, it seems that Tom had discovered a means of manip... Nelson, why are we bothering with this? Manipulating Blackrock through a simple spell which would allow one to perceive and act on... I don't think thou should speak of such... Well, Patterson, shut up. Act on the Ever and therefore on the Blackrock itself. Nelson... It was a runic spell using the runes. I'm sorry, Nelson. In a flash, Patterson draws a dagger from his belt and stabs Nelson through the back of the neck. Nelson stiffens and falls, and the dagger falls from Patterson's hand. And now Patterson is hostile and fights us, unarmed. He is taking on the avatar unarmed. How stupid is that? I mean, he wouldn't have much chance. You much luck with. Uh, weapons as well, but still, there he goes. Driven to his knees, Patterson cries out, Oh, Guardian, save me! I served you! I did it all! Why do you not aid me now? Somehow he manages to stand again. Stop staring at me, you... You hated me in life anyway, false friends. Now you may hate me worse than death. If you ever get out of here, tell Judith I'm sorry. And he dies. Judith is his wife. And now the guard approaches. A little bit late. What? Stay where you are, Baron. What is it that has happened? Stay the hand. I merely accomplished the ends of justice. Forgive my tone, sir. It was a shock to see this. He gives a shaky salute. I shall inform Lord British of what has happened. Yeah. So now we know who the traitor was. Patterson was the traitor, and he killed Lady Tory and Nelson. Well, and Nelson had found a solution to, you know, escape from the Black Rock, but he took his knowledge with him into the grave. So let's see, let's see how the inhabitants of the castle react to that. This is Julia. Avatar, I've been looking all over for thee. What is on thy mind, Julia? 
I was just thinking about Patterson. For a while, I actually felt sorry, sorry for the man. I mean, he seemed so unhinged near the end. I don't envy your job, not at all. If there's nothing more, I must go now. Okay. So that is all. You wanted to tell me. I would speak to thee of the experiences here in the castle. Well, I still think Faridun is a killer. I wouldn't go near the man if I were you. And why else would he spend all his time by himself? Well, we do know now that Faridun is not a killer. Okay, what else does Dana? Well, there was a time I got so angry with Mayor Patterson when he broke those arrows I gave him to fix. What else does you know? That's all. So yeah. She doesn't know anything of importance. And she suspected the wrong man. Yeah, but this is Patterson's room, so it's probably empty now. Let's see whether Ferretman is at home. Nope. Riding around somewhere. Who's that? Another god. Is Dupre in his room? Yes. Let's say hi to Dupre. Good day, Avatar. What's on thy mind? What's on thy mind, friend Dupre? My task of bringing water from the ice caves is going extremely well. Have the Yeti proved troublesome in thy efforts? There are no signs that Yeti were anywhere near the place where I kept the equipment. I fear that the mysterious castle thief has been venturing into other planes. What else does he have to say? Two murders now, and a third dead as well. It's a sad thing that such grief should be visited upon the castle. Well, at least there should be no more killings now. One would hope not, but if the Guardian had one pawn in our midst, can we be certain that there were are no more? Yeah, we can be quite certain. Okay, that's all he has to say. Let's see whether Iolo is in his room. Nope. Let's go down here and have a quick... Oh, who's that? Excuse me. Talk to me, Charles. It's good to see the Avatar. What has occupied thee of late, Charles? To think it was Patterson all along. I should have known he was the traitor. Many of us now owe Faraday an apology. So it does not need to rub it in, Avatar. I made an error in judgment, I confess, but I still do not trust Ferdwin. We have no assurance that he was not also involved. Yeah, but have you ever did you ever hear of, you know, innocent until proven guilty? Ferdwin. I had been meaning to speak to thee, Avatar. What is on thy mind, Ferdwin? All of this time, Patterson was under the Guardian's influence. Hopefully his tragedy will at least quell the unfounded suspicions that so many here have of me. Hmm. We all owe you an ap apology now, Ferdwin. I will accept them all, starting with thine. But from now, thou had best return to your task of freeing us from the Guardian's cage. Enough have died here already, solely because there was a frightened, vicious fool in our midst. Or are said to be a hero. Hero, now go about the heroic business. Don't worry. We will do our part. So maybe Lord British is in his room? Maybe not. Yeah, we already talked. With Charles and Ferridwin. So who is in here? Oh, Lord British. Hi, my liege. Hey, talk to me. I don't want to. Let's talk with Nana then. What has occupied thee of late? So it has come to this, has it? We are killing our own. I care not who the traitor was. I only know that two more of us are dead. And I 
No, not why. Well, I do know why. Because of the Guardian, my girl. Because of the Guardian. Hi, my leech. I heard the news about Mayor Patterson. I fear that part of the blame for Nelson's death is mine. I should never have trusted him after his association with the Fellowship. And yet, after his encounter with you, he seemed a changed man and I believed he really was. I think they are right. It took the Guardian to find his fear and his lust for power and status and twist him into something else. Patterson was not a strong man and the Guardian knew where to push him. If there's nothing more, I must go now. We will talk later then, my friend. Okay, and we're going to take a break here because it's that time again. So thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye.